grab your coffee cups, get comfortable. This is going to be a long one. Why it's happening, where it's happening, how long it's been happening, what are happening to innocent farmers. And then I'm going to tell you how I found out about it and how I wasn't supposed to know about it. Nobody's supposed to know about it. But I'm Brittany Scoville, okay? I'm going to find out that you're not i don't know how but i always do so apparently white farmers in south africa are getting unalived in astronomical numbers by black africans and this has been going on for years now and nobody wants the world to know that this is happening everybody has been hush hush about it on the continent because we don't want the world to know exactly what we are doing to white people white farmers here on the continent in south africa well you guys know what i always say right here on the channel when breeze blow foul yansh must surely open meaning nothing stays hidden under the sun so what Africans did not see coming is that a day would come in 2023 where a certain white American would visit South Africa and expose this dirty, dirty secret of theirs. Truly, not all heroes wear cape. Guys, it would be wise to fasten your seatbelt for this one because this is an exclusive coming directly from the streets of TikTok, an expose that you could not have seen coming prepare yourselves y'all remember last week when i was in africa and i said i have a whole bunch of information that you don't know about because the media is not going to show you or tell you and how i didn't feel safe talking about this until i was back in the states but we're going to talk about it so use your context clues because there's a lot of words that i can't use i'm going to let you know what far is why it's happening where it's happening how long it's been happening what are happening to innocent farmers and then i'm going to tell you how i found out about it and how i wasn't supposed to know about it nobody's supposed to know about it but i'm Brittany scoville okay i'm gonna find out that you're not i don't know how but i always do so hashtag farm is something that's going on across africa especially south africa zimbabwe is just above south africa and we are about 45 to 50 minutes from the border people are illegally crossing into south africa and innocent farmers now let me tell you why. obviously there's no facts this is coming from a very trustworthy opinion and i'm saying opinion because do what you want with this information you're not going to find it anywhere else so she just stated that there are no facts to back up whatever she's saying right now then she went on to say all she is about to say is from a trustworthy opinion it is at this point right here she was supposed to stop making this video this video is not even supposed to exist but she went on yapping nonetheless for over six minutes spreading propaganda nobody wants you knowing about it a because nobody's gonna want to come if they know the risk and danger and b it's it's just it's honestly kind of crazy that this is actually happening some of the stories that i was told left a pit in my stomach and i double checked the locks on my door i don't know how to say this without sounding but this is how it was explained to me i mean if you talk about race anytime someone's gonna call you so this is basically what I got from what I was told. The government is granting people, white African Americans and black African Americans, land. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? But the blacks are getting it for dirt cheap or free. And I know everything's two-sided. and This is just the information that I've been told. Black African Americans. Wait, um, wait. Did she say white African Americans? Unconscious bias is a mother. So my African American brothers and sisters watching right now, I know you guys are confused. You are not sure exactly how you got dragged into this. Even we here on the continent, we are confused with the titling, right? That's going on in this video. White African Americans, black African Americans. It didn't even register to her that she wasn't saying white South Africans. I told you guys to fasten your seat belts. This is an exclusive coming directly from the streets of TikTok. So much was going on in this video. So please tighten those belts. The last thing we need is someone falling off this vehicle. Are granted this land and they are not utilizing it to its full potential and it's just going to sh to where white African Americans are using their land for profit and bringing money in, whether it's safari hunting, livestock, or crop. I know that's like a very bold statement of me to say, but that's just what I was told. And so what these black African Americans are doing is the white farmers, like 3,000 
upwards a year because why because they are greedy and because they can i guess so i basically learned like why this was happening so now let's talk about what is happening to the people two years ago i was hunting with my ph and i was on tiktok scrolling and i saw the hashtag farm and I asked him what is this about and he hesitated as if I wasn't supposed to know about it And he said if you see anybody that you don't do you don't know shoot stab do what you got to do And this year i'm learning information from I would say a trustworthy source He has he has family in the military and on the police force and what he's saying and the stories that he has told me It's this has been happening since 2020 and it's not talked about now, but it's still happening if not it's as worse as it's, it's been. This is where you're going to have to really listen and follow because I don't know if I can say most of this stuff. So what I was told is these people will come in and even though you're in a gated area, a safari area, and you've got all of these gates and you're protected and you have all of these people with guns around you to keep you safe and whatnot, if they want to kill you, they're going to kill you. And there's no getting out of it. You see how she just painting Africans as savages who are just going about unaliving white people. This is someone who earlier said she don't even have facts to back up all the things that she's saying, but still she is here spreading this propaganda. If what she's saying is truly happening, the whole world for don't know sins. You would have seen them white reporters on CNN and wherever talking about. It's really emotional for me because I see European people with blue eyes and blonde hair being killed, children being killed every day. Yeah, that's how quickly they would have been on the news talking about white folks are getting on alive in South Africa now the world needs to stand still and go help them. Obviously this one went to South Africa and she was listening to those whites read to the cis South Africans who are championing this propaganda. And then she went back to America talking about and how I didn't feel safe talking about this until I was back in the States. But we're going to talk about it. So use your context clues because there's a lot of words that I can't use. We do keep quiet. But let's get back to the video because man, she just kept on going and it gets worse. They'll have walkie talkies set up everywhere. So if they really want to attack one farm in particular, but it's it takes forever to get to the middle of it because of all the gates and the land, they'll sit out and have walkie talkies and talk to each other and when they come in close everybody that's on that farm they will tie up in a house and what they do to the women is they will take a broomstick and yeah you've you've let's take a quick pause here please now this entire video is a very dangerous one and side note this isn't where the video ends there's still more to go she has successfully painted africans black people as people who just go about unaliving white people here on the continent she specifically earlier picked out the zimbabweans right so we see a play in of xenophobia going on as well in the video but now at this particular point she is now playing into the stereotype of black men just go about attacking and are rewarding white women we know this stereotype right now while the situation of a black man are rewarding a white woman can occur same way a white man are rewarding a black woman can occur we are very much aware and we see through exactly what she's doing in this particular section of the video she is heavily and deliberately playing into the ray to the cis trope of black men african men are reward white women we know this image that she is setting up here is one that has been played into and overly highlighted for hundreds of years now in the bid to paint black men in a very negative light and portray white women as you know damsel in distress victims and don't get me wrong i'm not saying that white women cannot be the victim of the arrow world or that black men cannot or do not arrow world women because yes sadly unfortunately so there are black men who do arrow world women same way we have men in other races who do arrow world women as well but then again, her doing what she's doing right now in a video that is already set up the way she set it up with a lot of misinformation, the dynamics of the entire video, it's already intense, right? A lot is going on in this video. So for her to, at this point in time, incorporate and sell this idea that white women are being attacked and are rewarded because of their race, that's just her adding another layer of lie into a video that has so many lies in it to begin with and making an already intense video even more intense. 
and this also made this obviously very dangerous video even more dangerous. One of my followers actually messaged me and said her brother was in South Africa and witnessed a woman getting RAPED and they did nothing about it because it was black authority police. This idea, this narrative that white women are facing um, discrimination when reporting from the police based on their race, like that's just not a true narrative. This is an article that I found on um, the frequency of violence against white women by black men, including them, and specifically whether they face discrimination from authority. And to be fair, this data is quite old, but it did suggest that white women may be disproportionately less likely to be as they were only 4.5% of the race cases opened with the police, whereas they constitute 21% of the female population. That was obviously in 2003. And it also, in 77% of the cases where a woman was the alleged perpetrator was a white man, in 14% of the cases he was an African man. Again, this data is old, it's not necessarily reflective of the current situation, but I couldn't, unfortunately, I couldn't find any more recent data, so this is kind of the best we have to go on. But additionally, this report found that white victims are given the same treatment as all other victims, and certainly would not face discrimination in reporting. If anything, they are advantaged in general with dealing with the statutory services compared to African women as they tend to be more educated and articulate. That's from 2013. So again, there's a huge problem in South Africa. It's not being adequately dealt with. Women do face problems when reporting their race, but that is not at all related to their race. If you are white and you are by yourself and you have jewelry, even if you don't have jewelry on, you're f obviously there's some places that are safe and there's some places that are just not safe. It's like in red zone you don't want to be there us americans think that we have it bad basically i left south africa with a different standpoint of the world that's why i love traveling i just i get a different perspective every single time i go somewhere else we've got a lot of up going on here okay but so do they and so does every other country there's always going to be good and there's always going to be bad Everywhere you go, it don't matter. Did I feel safe? I felt safe because all of the PHs were there, had their rifles and pistols. But there's always that little thing in the back of my head that just, I, I really thought I wasn't going to come back. <laughs> Dead ass. Like, I, I really thought I wasn't going to come back. If you were going to South Africa on a hunt, like, coming up, and I, I'm not meaning to say this to scare you, I think this is something that everybody needs to know and talk about. Because this is something that, their government does not want us talking about. And it's crazy to me that I'm one of the only Americans talking about this. And after I post something about farmers, I have so many messages of people in Africa that are directly getting affected. If not them, they know someone who is. I truly wish I could tell you how bad it is through a video, but it's sickening. Like you, you might be thinking the sickening levels here. Nah, it's I know this video is a little long. If you want any more information or maybe I'll do some story times of some people that are getting. I have done quite a bit of research on, I think he's 18, 18 year old kid got shot and it was a big, it was a big thing for South Africa, but I mean, it hasn't been talked about in two years. Seriously, if you have any questions at all, ask me. I will try to answer as best as I can. And remember, this is, I mean, this is not. This is facts in my eyes, but it's not facts in your eyes because I'm just a fucking human talking on TikTok and you are going to believe it or you're not going to believe it. It's just the extremes of like, nobody wants you to know about this. That was a lot. Now, you know, of course, Africans were not pleased by this video. South Africans, both white and black alike, did make video responses to her video. Now I'm going to let roll some of their responses and I'll meet you guys after. People are illegally crossing into South Africa and innocent farmers. Now, let me tell you why. Oh, oh man, man. Hope, hope, hope right there. I know you're not reporting on this. Who are you? Who are you? Because those same farmers that you're speaking about, are they South African by DNA or by birth? By birth of colonial default or by birth of indigeneity? Do you know how many white people there are in South Africa? 7% of our entire population. Do you know what that leaves us to? Being the 80% after the Indians and the Asians, etc. other. Did you know that there are black farmers? Did you know who are the people who work on those farms? Do you know what happens to the people who work on those farms? Did you hear about them being bait to crocodiles? 
Did you hear about them being for merely crossing a fence in their own home country? What do you think, y'all? Hashtag farmer's opinion that it should create a unamanga. That's a sniela. You can never get a real life experience if you're still seeking from the same people who look like you who came into our country to come and colonize. Who do you think you are? Reporting back on our lands? Our lands? You Flintstones really be yabba dabba doing anyway. Talking about I was going to report this once I knew I was safe. Get the f out of here. You're not Charlize Theron. No one even knows your name. But I swear, go back to Africa. Go back to South Africa. Nas. I bet you won't. I bet you won't. Because you know that this is propaganda. Did you know that the UN had actually told the same Afri Forum who were complaining about the farm murders that there was not actual information or evidence that proved that it was a genocide? You know why? Because more black people like in South Africa more than people who look like you because the 7% that you're speaking about not even 50% of farmers and the 80% of our population of people who look like me the majority of us work in those farms don't you ever empiloniyako atta anything that has nothing to do with you that's when I When's on? You're gonna spread awareness of what? Do you know what this clearly explains? How much uzonda abant abamnyama lundini? Then you wanna include Zimbabwe and saying that they're crossing just to do that. For no reason at all. Listen to the people of the homeland. It's us. Not you. I'm gonna let you know what far is. Oh my goodness, yay. Another American telling us what is happening in our own country. I saved her video with the intention of breaking it down, but every two seconds is everything she said she got from some white guy. She didn't spend time with any people of color in a position to talk to her about what is really happening. South Africa has a major crime problem, specifically gender-based violence. Farmers in South Africa are not only white. White people make up less than 8% of the entire population. So if there was really a white genocide going on for so long, we'd be gone by now. None of what she said is factual. No statistics, nothing. That video has over 70,000 likes. She carries on about no one wants to talk about it and no one is going to get the info anywhere else. The subject has been worn out. You can Google it. You can find so many articles on it, a lot of propaganda, but also actual statistics. If you want to speak on crime in South Africa, it's so much better to be talking about what is really happening, the gang violence in Cape Town, the gender-based violence, domestic violence, women being targeted. Those are problems we should be addressing. Farm attacks happen, but they happen to everyone, not just white people. Let's talk about the farm workers who passed away in the beginning of the year during the heat wave in the Northern Cape. Let's talk about the people in the free state i think it was six people in one one farm attack and all of them were people of color but if you are american rather talk about what is happening in your own country what happened to that 11 year old child that was shot by the police you would feel safe in your own country in the u.s because you are a white woman don't come talk cuck about other countries and then have the less than 8% white people in your comments going, thank you for talking about this and poor us. As a white woman from South Africa who has had a family member attacked on a small holding in the 80s, I can tell you that farm attacks have actually gone down in recent years. You know nothing about our history, our government or our police force. So just shut the fuck up.
you know how it goes when people start making response videos to her video she came on talking about oh they're attacking me y'all just shut the up and leave me alone like oh my god nobody's being civil to me at all one person one person in my dms is being civil and actually like explaining it to me because i have no idea spreading misinformation yeah maybe but if you listen to my video i said these are not facts and oh but she said it's facts these are fa i said that right okay besides the point no the point is not that she lied the point is never that they lie the point is that we're not kind to them after they lie this was a lie we're not gonna pretend like we don't know where you're from and what rights exist to protect your kind this was a white woman lie this was the result of that white woman lie. Please. What the f I know, but this was an isolated event. You think just because we're in Africa, we don't study history. Please. White woman lie. This boy was 14, but a white woman. White American woman. I know you're from America. Just by how you're gaslighting this entire situation, this boy was 14. And your kind, your ancestors lied on him. Hmm? Hmm? No. That, the point is not that I lied. How do you speak? How do you like people speak? Because the voice needs to be... Yeah, like, if your voice is deep like mine, you don't get taken seriously by the law. If you lie, <laughs> you get this done if you're a white woman in America. But this is not America. You think we don't know about the story about Tulsa and the woman by the elevator who got this entire black Wall Street burned down because of her lie? Hi, boo. Hi, boo. This is what white American woman lies do. This is what white American woman lies do. Now just so we're on the same page, you're not South African, therefore you have no right to speak on South African issues, but since you are, and you're inciting a racial divide that we can't afford right now because we're building our constitution from the ground up, if I may add, you're inciting racial tension in the country, which means we can call for you to be banned from the country. Because should anyone get because of the lies you're spreading, you can get criminally prosecuted, not only in your state of America because South Africa is registered as an entity in the SEC, but in South Africa too. And I don't think we're going to have mercy on you if you come here. And that's not a threat. I know my people. So continue gaslighting the situation. Continue saying your lie isn't the problem and our reaction to your disrespect is the problem. Keep doing that and see if we don't use you as an example. Whole time this child was born in 2001, 17 December, so I can get your social security code. I think you should change wannabe comedian to joke because that's exactly what you are. Listen here. That's all I'm gonna say. Since I'm to do some layers, because I have work to do, I have jobs to create. How many Britney Scubbles live in Iowa? I'm on a mission. Not a goddamn person has been nice to me. <laughs> okay, so if I didn't know something, let me know. Instead of attacking me. My f sake. What would you want me to do? You send me the articles and links and you let me know what I should talk about. But instead, we're just going to call me a Great. That's hell! Okay, so then how about instead of attacking me, let me know your side. What the f- I was Someone please tell this American idiot that this country doesn't do alternative facts. You're not gonna gaslight us into teaching you, child. We all have a right to our own opinions, but we do not have a right to our own facts. Looking like a fake Debbie Thornberry. Somebody please teach these kids. She even started using the fact that people are making response videos to her video to tell her that she's spreading lies to say, oh, this is proof as to why people don't talk about the unaliving of white farmers that's going on in South Africa because, you know, when anybody talks about it, this is how they react. They get defensive. They don't want to hear the truth. They don't want people to know what's going on. Would y'all just shut the up and leave me alone? Like, oh my God, nobody's being so I there are 15 pillars to white supremacy culture. One of those is a right to comfort. This is kind of what you're talking about. Nobody's being civil to me. They're not obligated to be civil to you once you've said something rooted, really deeply rooted in white supremacy culture. Mm -mm. Saying to oppressed people, be nice to your oppressor. Psst, you're the oppressor in this situation. Because you're in the skin suit that you're in and from a land, America that, you know, was built 
on the backs of the enslaved after we stole it from the people and genocided them first and we continue to oppress those people that we enslaved and brutalized and stole land from the black and indigenous people Psst, if you didn't know and then you took that privileged skin suit and travel to lands where we stole people from mm -hmm. and then praised Dutch colonizers who also oppressed people. Yeah, they stole their lands, oppressed them for a long time. You might want to maybe read up on how that all happened and what reparations are. And then to go to that land and tell the black folks there, you know, actual Africans, that they're not using their lands properly because they're not grifting and profiteering off of them because you're a big game hunter and you see all the missed opportunities. Yeah, that's, that's not a good look for a skin suit of privilege. You know, again, coming from the position that you're coming from. Mm -hmm. I think you knew that. I think you knew that. And I think you know that you are profiteering off of white supremacy. And I think you're perfectly okay with it. But your demand to be treated kindly as you do it is kind of laughable. However, since the internet is forever and you young people seem to think that you will escape your hot takes in the future, you might want to go ahead and apply for jobs at Fox. I know they're hiring right now, so you're on track. You'll probably get a desk position. I mean, you could probably be the new Laura Ingram. Or, 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 or you could go down to Florida and work for Ron DeSantis. You and him have a lot in common. And I hope, I hope you see that I'm coming to you with just a tiny bit of civility. I'm not calling you a name, I'm not being rude about it. I'm just speaking facts. You know, it's a little bit different than your opinion. It's actually rooted in reality. But your right to comfort isn't going to happen. That defensiveness giving you away. Or in familization of people in their own lands, you know, that's another giveaway. Either or thinking, mm, big one. I mean, we could go on, but you could just Google 15 pillars of white supremacy and maybe educate yourself. But... Highly doubt you're going to do that because, again, I think you enjoy the grift that you're getting off of your hate. Like hunting an elephant, isn't it? Unnecessary, but you just get a rush. Hope you're proud. And the fact that she went all the way to South Africa to hunt down animals. As an African, I cannot understand. I, I really cannot understand this whole hunting animal culture that these people have. Like, imagine traveling miles, miles, flying for hours. Just so you can go stuff. Not a goddamn person has been nice to me. Oh. Okay, so if I didn't know something, let me know. Instead of attacking me. My f sake. What would you want me to do? Stop f***ing animals. Send me the articles and links and you let me know Stop what you should animals. talk about. But instead we're just going Stop to be a racist. Great. Guys, I know this video is way longer than the video I usually make here on the channel, but this is a video that could not have been any shorter. Honestly, I tried, but it just couldn't. I couldn't make this video haphazardly. So there are more clips that I also would love for you guys to check out for educational purposes, especially as it relates to this topic. And these clips are going to roll at the end of this video, so please do check them out. As I speak with you guys right now, TikTok is presently on fire because of this video she made. But do let me know down below in the comments section what you think about this situation this saga thank you very much for watching let's continue this conversation down below in the comment section and of course as always i will see you guys in the next one the lies at some point she says three thousand farmers or a year yeah. while we know states sa doesn't say that even if you forum states doesn't say three thousand farmers but we know it's all the white genocide propaganda. It's sad, really. It's sad to want to be unalived so bad that you have to create lies. Now, this American lady has been lied to by many white South Africans. And in the comments, not surprisingly, many white South Africans are agreeing with her, even though they know it's a lie. They've been saying this life for over 10 years now, actually. Even more than that. More than 10 years. They kept on saying we'll be like Zimbabwe and stuff. They keep on pushing the lie of white genocide, of uh, being white as black people, white people. That's a lie. But anyway, did you know, if you go check around, they even use Hollywood horror movies to prove their point. They use Hollywood 
horror movies like pictures still pictures and say it's fuck do you know that that's how much they lie and that's how far they willing to go they didn't take pictures of it they even took pictures of a girl getting mauled by a dog and said it's a fuck and interesting enough they always have the same story a child being boiled with water or being put in a microwave always and they always have an uncle or a brother or a cousin they know yet they're still here in South Africa yet it's white genocide do they actually know what the genocide is but uh, anyway it's okay what was really crazy was your propaganda video on farm not only crazy highly disrespectful to South Africa stay out of Africa because the fact that you say there's no information available, you could have just Googled. Farm in South Africa, 4,420,000 items. Just videos, 2 million. And a lot of it is white genocide propaganda, which I'm sure you'd buy into because I can see you are only interacting with people that are agreeing with you and pushing the propaganda that you want to hear. Please educate yourself and rather do not talk about South Africa. We've got entire reports which you could have read, which you didn't because you don't care about the facts. There's even entire fact sheets simplifying it for people like you. And yet you insist on spreading propaganda, insist on saying no one's educating me. Educate yourself, woman. A whole bunch of information that you don't know about. You didn't fact shit for check. I mean, you didn't fact check for shit. <laughs> You spoke to someone who's really nostalgic about apartheid, who really misses the old days, who really wants to come back to the days or go back to the days of white supremacy. And I'm not going to lie. Farm murders, it's an atrocity. It's horrendous. But it's crime. And your numbers are way exaggerated. Damn. You most likely spoke to someone from one of the groups here in South Africa that has more or less the same ideology as your KKK.